Armando here with Times Digital and in this video I'm going to walk you through my exact process for finding audiences with free methods and paid tools now that Audience Insights is officially gone. Now if you remember a few months back I made a video on Audience Insights being sunset and the new tool that Facebook moved to which is Facebook Insights for Business. Now I'm going to start off by going through this tool and kind of showing you what that looks like for those of you who are still kind of wondering if this new tool works. Um, it's very vague. I don't feel that it personally does justice for what Audience Insights was for us which was finding those golden nuggets, uh, pockets of audiences to target to. So Facebook Business Insights it's what you're seeing on my screen right now and if you look at this it basically just sort of analyzes your current audience and gives you a breakdown of your current current audience but if you want to even dive deeper into this you can click on potential audiences and one of the ways that you can use this is you click on filter and you just sort of add an interest that you want to kind of explore if you remember from the old audience insights when you added an interest you could actually see affinity you could see page likes you could see demographic information and a whole bunch of things that made life easy that's not the case for this new business insights if i add something like small business for example um as a filter and i leave everything else alone i get top cities like new york city houston etc but the pages that come up are pages like tasty and walmart and amazon and target not relevant at all to small businesses not relevant to anything that i would remotely even find useful so i'm going to start by you know using our brains throughout this process because this is the exact same process that i follow for hundreds of my clients that i run ads for uh, and for ourselves as well so we start off with sort of a brain dump here and this is a spreadsheet of what that looks like i make a a list of podcasts brands books magazines publications associations clubs etc you see it here everything and anything that my ideal audience would potentially be engaging in reading um, or watching or even equipment that they'd be used that they've been using so if i were to target like somebody like hvac uh, for example or a carpet cleaning i would target those people's uh, tools that they use like client tools you know milwaukee hilti and then industry specific tools for those for those type of industries so the very first thing that you need to do is make a list of your ideal customer and what kind of things they're into go deep into where they shop where they hang out you know do they have kids what are their kids into you know all kinds of stuff and compile it in a spreadsheet like this uh, you can even copy the one that's here on the screen right now uh, so you can use it for yourself once we do this um, this is going to give us a pretty good idea an understanding of top level categories that we want to uh, target where our ideal customers are at uh, now the very first way that I use this is I come in here to my campaigns and I'm gonna walk you through this process if you are building a campaign uh, for the sake of this demo I'm just gonna click create a campaign I'm gonna pick any objective it doesn't matter for now and I'm gonna click continue and what I want to do is end up at the ad set level. Once here on the ad set level, I can go to detail targeting and start to plug in some of those uh, results that I got from my spreadsheet here. So if I'm targeting small business owners, for example, I'm just going to type in small business um, in here. And then I'm just going to let Facebook the Facebook suggestion box give me a list of small businesses to target now one thing to keep in mind with this is the actual category you can see that small business Saturday you're targeting employees schools interest uh, small business owners uh, small business Saturday small business software etc are on here every single one of these also changes the audience size some of these are really really big broad categories like small business in general uh, which has you know billions of users that you can target and some of them are going to be really small like small business Saturday which only has 3200 you know users that you can target because it's like schools or something like that uh, which is really weird but what happens in here is I start to plug in some of those audiences from my spreadsheet and I keep them within the same category so if I choose a podcast to target then I want to make sure that all my other audiences are in the same podcast category if I choose book books or magazines then I want to make sure that those are in the same category as books or magazines so in this case I'm just gonna click small business owners 
and it's right there digital activity so what I do then is I just click the suggestion box or option in here and I just look and see at what Facebook is going to give me and I just go ahead and start to click some that are going to be relevant to me and as you change some of these as you add others are going to start to show up um, that you didn't see before in here and once I have a small or a big enough group that I want to target, I can go ahead and run my ad this way. I even go as far as to break these down by category. So you can see this one's all job titles, founder of the magazine or whatever. And I can just kind of delete everything else and just go with job title so I'll click suggestion here and uh, Facebook is gonna give me suggestions of people who are you know audiences who are who have that job titles of owner manager managing partner managing director founder of founder CEO etc and I categorize my audiences by you know sort of category I guess if you will um, there is a downfall to this there is a downsize to this um, is that everyone though is going to get the exact same categories that you see here so these audiences these these 25 audiences that show up in here Facebook is going to give them to your competitors and everyone else um, which doesn't quite make it ideal because then you're competing in a pool of the same amount of people now this is how I I do this um, uh, using the tools that are already are here with Facebook now um, with that being said when you do this method you don't really really discover new audiences that you didn't think about before basically if it's not suggested in there then there's really no way for you to come up with that audience unless you already know of that audience which is why I always default to a paid option called interest explore now if you want to follow along with this tool there is a link in the description of this video that takes you to this and um, that way you can kind of see how it all works now I want to give a little disclaimer here I have tried many tools that do similar things that what this tool does and I always keep coming back to this one number one for the ease of use the simplicity and you cannot beat the price of this one-time payment tool it's not a subscription you just pay for it once and it kind of pays itself over and over so how this tool works and how I use it um, for pretty much all my audience finding is I kind of go back to my spreadsheet first of all and I try to identify one broad term one broad category that I want to go after and then I let this tool find audiences that are basically hidden um, because this ties into the Facebook marketing API it's going to give you a, at a glance audiences that typically are not available that you wouldn't have otherwise discovered by going the manual route that we just spoke about so following this I'm going to say that I want to target small business and so I just give it a broad category of small business and I click explore and what it's doing here is connecting to the Facebook API and it's finding you know 95 interest related to small business now when we did this in here you were only given 25 and everyone was given the exact same 25 audiences um, but when I do that in here in this tool I'm getting automatically 95 interests that are related so way more than Facebook even you know shows me to begin with the, the second thing that I do here is I click on settings and I want to make sure that my language is selected because this does matter if you're in a country uh, you know like France you want to choose French you want to choose your language based on on the country and there's a whole slew of countries in here that you're allowed to to, to kind of market to or select languages I pick English and then I can choose uh, my audience size or I can remove magazines or I can remove words from my search if I want to so let's say I don't want Bloomberg I don't want you know anything that has the word journal in there or time magazine because I know those are mainstream right I can go ahead and, de and delete those but otherwise I'll just leave them so how I use this is I go down and I observe audience sizes so anything that is is smaller than 1k 
I keep a note of and, and kind of put those in a small category of like advertisers. Anything that's bigger than that, uh, if you start to get above the 500,000 range in terms of audiences, you're gonna get this magnifying glass in here that allows you to dig deeper into that audience to discover even more uh, hidden audiences. So one thing that I like to do is I like to look at the things that are really odd, something that just kind of sticks out like a sore thumb that I'm not very familiar with. Now I know, you know, ha small business world, I know um, National Small Business Week is there, Visa for Small Business, those are all, all common things. But when I come down here, I look at McKinsey Quarterly, which has 37.4K, you know, audience sizes. And I'm thinking to myself, I don't really know what that is. I want to explore that a little bit more. And I can click either Facebook or I can click the Google icon here. And that takes me to a Google search where I can look at what McKinsey Quarterly is. And I can tell right out of the gate that this is a magazine for senior executives focused on management and um, organizational theory. Okay, so this might be something that wasn't there before. It wasn't in the pool of the 25 audiences that we saw through Audience Insights, but it could be very beneficial. And so what I do here, I just click it, and then you can see that Audience uh, Interest Explorer adds it to the selection tool here. I can then hide um, any audiences that I've picked. That way I can only show the ones that uh, are relevant to me. So I keep going down here and I look for things that typically not everyone else is gonna be targeting, basically. So if I look at this, Yahoo for Small Business, uh, Wall Street Journal, Small Business, Gadget Show, Peter Schiff, I don't know, you don't know what that is, so I'm gonna click it. And Peter Schiff is, uh, he's a stockbroker, he's a CEO, he's a radio personality, uh, he is CEO and chief global strategist. This is somebody that if I would wanted to reach those small businesses that were at that caliper, probably would be listening to. So I'm gonna click on that guy there, okay? Then I go down here and I say, okay, well, um, there's others in here that are big and I wanna find more audiences. So Fast Magazine, I can click the magnifying glass now here and Interest uh, Explore is gonna take that term, plug it in here and find others that are related to Fast Magazine that allows me to target even deeper audiences. Uh, E-Trade, um, Hacker News, uh, Charles Schwab Corporation, I would have never thought about that, um, and a bunch of other magazines in this category. So now what, what this has done, it's, it's filtered by category, and it's given me 33 other audiences based on uh, the Fast Company magazine that are related in terms of publication and um, might be relevant to my audiences. So. Once I have a good selection of audiences in here, I go ahead and I usually save this to a project and I give it a, a name. I can say, you know, small biz, whatever that is. And then I can click, uh, I can click save there. Now, if I can choose, I can choose as many as I want to put in there, obviously. Um, this helps me uh, find audiences, like I said, that don't exist in Audience Insights. Um, I click save and I select my project, and then I click Save. Once my project is save, saved, I go ahead and go to Project, and I can see that project in here, uh, right here. I click it, and I can see a list of 13 interests that I've got, you know, that I've essentially discovered that weren't there before. What I like to do is I like to select all of these interests, and then I like to go to Layers. And I like to create a couple of layers in here. And then um, I like to then distribute this randomly to create layers. Then what I'll do is I copy this clipboard here of these interests in one layer. And I go back to my demographic section. And I go ahead and I paste the layer in there. Okay, that adds it in there. And then I go and I narrow my audiences more and paste the other layer. What this does is basically create sort of like a Venn diagram similar to what you see here uh, on Facebook. And basically it tells people if they like all these, any one of these categories or any one of these interests from layer one, they must also like any one of these interests from layer two and then show my ad to only those people. This to me, uh, oftentimes work very well, especially when you have larger audiences. Uh, this is a strategy that we use. 
but if you don't have larger audiences all you want to do is paste all of them in here and let Facebook do its thing let your ad copy kind of do a lot of the heavy lifting when it comes to calling out your audience and targeting um, so you can find a really good interest you can also test individual interest you don't have to um, select all of these right but go in here and find individual ones that you wouldn't have otherwise thought of uh, like the you know uh, for example, uh, if I go back to to this, uh, I can go back and look at something like um, National Electrical Contractors of America. If I were to target, if I were wanted to target electricians, I could just test this one audience and see what it does. Okay, so again, if, if you guys want to check this tool out, I, I honestly, guys, I highly recommend it. It's there's a link in the description. I use it myself uh, for all my projects but these are just two ways one free and one paid that you can use now to discover new audiences um, without having to use audience insights because it's essentially gone uh, if you've made it to to this end thank you for watching if you have any comments or any concerns about this uh, or anything i can help with leave them in the comments uh, leave your questions in the comments below and i try to get to them uh, if this video was helpful give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel and we'll see you guys on the next one